Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I am on the Ko Young booth at Apex 2024 and I'm joined by Mukesh from Aimtron. Mukesh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Fascinating business. Um, talk to me a bit about the journey and how you got here and, and about the footprint you currently have in the EMS industry, both in the US and India. Thank you so much. Uh, first thing I would like to say thank you uh, EMS Now team, uh, especially you Eric and Jennifer. Uh, uh, and, and I really uh, also thank you to the audience. Uh, regarding Aimtron journey, uh, Aimtron born in 2009 in a worse recession. And uh, a lot of people uh, told me like, you are stupid, you know, why you want to <laughs> waste money right now? And, and then we, we got the first machine in a Fuji CP6 line and almost uh, like you know, $100,000 from Nagalas and then started the company. Um, first year revenue was only $72,000. And uh, after 12 years, we, you know, in 2021, we crossed uh, 72 million dollar. Wow. It's, it's a footprint wise, uh, uh, footprint, uh, you know, Aimtron has uh, multiple facilities as a global uh, EMS company. Uh, we started our journey with a uh, contract manufacturer we call it EMS. Uh, if you go back to my uh, original education uh, in a high school time and our college was kind of a construction man you know, management, uh, civil engineering. So I used to do a, a contract uh, with the government and uh, civil construction contract uh, when I came to Chicago in 1995. So it was kind of tough for me to work in a construction industry. Yeah. So I moved on to uh, you know, electronics and I went to Devra University and, and studied in uh, electronics. Going back to, in an EMS contract manufacturer we started and uh, we took it to the next level from EMS uh, to ESDM, so system design and manufacturing. Uh -huh. So um, in 2009 uh, we started with 15,000 square feet facility and then moved in 2013 to about 55,000 square feet facility and then we added another 50,000 square feet. In a parallel also we added uh, you know, 2014, we added another uh, 50,000 square foot facility in India. So almost 200,000 square foot uh, facilities we have. Uh, with, uh, we have uh, 14 SMT lines right now. And we have a 15th just on order uh, last month uh, with, uh, you know, Fuji platform. Uh, so uh, infrastructure wise, uh, we are uh, very capable to do anything and everything in uh, EMS, including design, and manufacturing both okay yeah fascinating business i wanted to break that down a little bit and talk a little bit about the trend we're seeing in india because i think i think that's fascinating and the fact that you have facilities in both allows you to benefit from that as people decouple a little bit from china at the moment we're seeing vietnam india and mexico as maybe the three main yep. main beneficiaries how do you see that growth process in india because to be frank, India is one of those regions that look like it's going to break into the EMS industry for decades and it finally seems to have an opportunity now. Yes. What's changed in the country that makes that more possible and is the infrastructure and supply chain coming in to support that? So um, you might have heard this word, buzzword called China plus one, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So uh, you know there is a uh, there's a lot of benefit uh, going to India because there is a good talent school, a lot of skilled labor. And, and also we're gonna talk another day about Aimtron Foundation. We do a lot of uh, skill development program also. So uh, to answer your questions, uh, India is ready. Uh, maybe we need a few, a little bit more time, few more years to get all the infrastructure, you know, like uh, fab plants coming out, uh, a lot of supply chain, you know, infrastructure is getting yeah. built, uh, you know, Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, uh, you know, even Ahmedabad. So, in, you know, in Chennai, you know, India is getting a lot, uh, you know, now next level. So that's what uh, I would like to share on that. Uh, because uh, if you look at uh, the way India infrastructure is building nowadays is uh, they are targeting 300 billion by 2026 in electronics. So it's going to be very fast, very huge growth uh, we yeah. can see. Um, about especially supply chain, we still depends on uh, out of country right now, um, about 30, 40%, 50%, so and so. But looks like PC board is getting better and better in India now. Uh, they are adding more and more PC board plants. Uh, maybe Aimtron can do in future. Um, 
semiconductor also we are putting more plant and we can also think about later on this so semiconductor uh, pc boards uh, you know some of the chips ICs, uh, you know i think so they they, they will go on eventually long way but i think uh, uh, next generation uh, next 15 20 years i think uh, india is the way to india go will be already significant Correct. and there certainly there seems to be the political will and the focus <coughs> and the incentives for for manufacturing to yes. be there and that's that's hugely valuable you mentioned um, talent talent's very challenging in the industry you've developed a very specific solution for yeah. that with your own foundation tell me a bit about that so what we are doing in our uh, foundation has a lot of social activities uh, i'm not going too much in detail but educational side uh, we do a university road show. Uh, we go one university to another city, and and then uh, we have a skill development, uh, uh, you know, director, uh, foundation director, uh, Sahana. She is in Bangalore, uh, and, and she goes all universities, and and we go with together and. and uh, encourage students encourage faculties to come our facilities so we have every saturday any you know most of the universities they they take the turn and every saturday they bring their facilities uh, and their faculties i'm not sorry their faculties so that we coach them we train them mm -hmm. and then they bring their students also so that's why we do a lot of uh, you know uh, awareness uh, in uh, industry electronics solder training ipc training uh, you know other uh, um, EMS related training program also we develop yeah. our own in our foundation activity and, and uh, we prepare our own workforce yeah. and we, we for all it's not only for Amtron it's for everybody anybody yeah. and everybody can join yeah and it's 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 t firstly it's taken responsibility for your own talent Correct. but secondly to get people interested in manufacturing you have to get them through the door because their perception of what electronic manufacturing yep. might look like what a factory might look like is very different to the reality yep yep and I think that's a good point you brought out uh, um, when I was a student, I didn't have that much uh, uh, a guidance or support uh, uh, because of that time, and, and you know, I, I was a kind of a farmer background. So, uh, what my wish is: uh, go to student, bring the student to see the robots, see how the you know PC board assembly works, see how the total system integration work. So that's where they come out and and, and look at our uh, place, and, and we encourage them and. We also offer them internship. We also them offer them, you know, a, um, a, a local colleges, uh, six month courses or one year courses or whatever they want to do. We are very flexible on that uh, skill development. Yeah, that's really important, isn't it? And when we look at the US, we've seen some softening in demand perhaps in the last six months, partly due to the economy and partly due to the fact that we're in, elec in an election year again. What are you seeing in terms of the of the uh, the market trends here at the moment? So, um, if you look at it, uh, that's uh, another good point. Uh, I I love to talk a little bit more about uh, about 70 to 80 percent shop is is uh, under uh, 25 to 30 to 50 million dollar. Yeah. You know, uh, we call mom and pop shop. You yeah. know, uh, I was one of the them, but uh, last uh, you know. Three, four years, we grew so fast every year, 25 to 30 percent. So we crossed that first band, yeah. you know, um, and we are, you know, just on 2023, 2024, we are crossing the second band of 100 million. Yeah. So yes, uh, there is so many, so many mom and pop shop. But I think uh, in in India, we we need to make sure, uh, you know, they they properly maintain the quality level, yeah. which is mindset, is that correct? Yeah. So that is something we need to, you know, as an industry, as a, as a, you know, uh, we need to focus and we need to encourage, uh, you know, companies and, and make sure. Otherwise, uh, quality can be, you know, concern for, uh, because in the U.S., uh, you know, always, you know, there is a guaranteed, you know, kind of thing, is it correct? So U.S. quality has a value. So same thing. We need to build in India also. Yeah, we absolutely need to have that as a given because people people expect that. Last question with respect to mega trends. One of the things we've seen is this bullwhip effect from the uh, from from the pandemic and this supply um, inventory bubble work its way through. Have you managed to reduce your inventory and has that has that inventory gone down? You've got a faster time to market. Oh, yes, yes. Actually, you know, we if you talk at Amtron, our inventory also 20 to 30 percent going down. Yeah. Um, yes, you know, it was a past COVID time. We had a supply chain bubble. In a supply chain bubble, uh, you know, like uh, it, it's uh, some of the long lead items, some of the man-made supply chain bubbles. You know, you can see all this uh, psychological and everything. So, right now, 
is coming down. Most of the parts, except the, some of the custom parts and uh, specialty parts, is is a normal uh, regularly time now, and. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of under control, let's put it that way. And uh, except a couple items, still uh, 20 week late time to 22 week late time, but uh, those are the specialty parts anyway. Yeah. So it's not uh, that much I'm, I'm seeing the bubble, but the normal trend is now, I think uh, now supply chain is also getting ready for this new requirement. So yeah. now they, you know, all infrastructure is getting ready, just like, you know, India is now coming to government giving a lot of subsidy for the fab manufacturing so supply chain is getting ready is that correct so they see next three to five years a lot of things coming out so they get getting ready for the supply chain so supply chain is also developing evolving yeah. uh, in, in the time also so both yeah. are in a parallel yeah, yeah. And, and it's important and you know we've talked about Aimtron we've talked about your your uh, your your work in terms of education last thing I wanted to touch on is you have an OEM business in the uh, in the in the world of pinball how did that come about oh my god so um <clears throat> it's another story um pinball uh, we we also thought about you know having our own product and uh, so while we're doing a contract manufacturing so one of the customer uh, came to us to build a, a pinball machine as a contract manufacturing and we we took that order and and uh, um we like it uh, you know uh, our team especially uh, you know, aim trans new generation. My uh, children also like the pinball, and and so that's what they said. Okay, let's let's also continue this business. Uh, so we we continue after uh, we designed the first game Houdini, uh -huh. uh, and and then we keep continue running on second game and third game and fourth game. So we have about six games now, wow. and uh, you know I think uh, it gives also a kind of a, a my wish to stay kids away from the gadgets. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, even three years and two years and five years, they have iPhones yeah, and then, screen. yeah, and, 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 and uh, I think it's better uh, they go basement and play or they, even adult also, you know, they, you know, just keep playing, uh, you know, game and everything. So it's go physical game, yeah. go in the arcade, arcade or somewhere and yeah. then they can play. So that is uh, something, uh, yeah, we thought and, and I think it's kind of a, a community activity also. Yeah. So it's it's gives bring, bring the people together. It's kind of more social yeah. also because nowadays people getting far and far and far. Yeah. You know, even fun family has a dinner and then all four they have their yeah, iPhone. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's better. So better to have come, you know, have a cup of beer and and, and, and you know they they get together yeah, and pinball. and yeah. play pinball. So that's what that's what uh, you know mine. Uh, behind that idea was behind yeah. that. Uh, that's really good. And you, you and I are from the from the generation that grew <laughs> up with pinball as the first choice. Uh, so I really appreciate that, Mukesh. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to me, and let's do this again soon. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you so much. Really appreciate.